Drum Pad is a straightforward drum synthesizer with the purpose of providing you with a single piece of a drum as opposed to a whole kit. Drum Pad is broken up into 8 sections that can help contour the sound, and of course can load up presets that come with FL Studio. The first section is the mallet section. This section will determine how the drum is hit. The amplitude parameter will affect how hard the piece was struck. The decay will determine how long the drum piece will ring after it has been struck. The noise parameter is used to simulate brushes and softer mallets. As you increase its value, the lower end frequencies are being reduced. Use the noise phase to adjust the tonal character of the noise. The decay parameter can be used to determine the decay of the piece. The cutoff will provide a filter to remove the higher frequencies. The tension parameter can be used to control the simulated tightness of the piece. In my example, I am using hats, so larger values would create the appearance of the hats being loose and more open, while shorter values would make the hats appear tighter and closed. You will also notice that this does affect the pitch of the piece. The phase parameter will help control where on the piece the mallet strikes and the slight different tonal values they have. Use the material parameter to move through the different simulated materials that make up the piece and their tonal characteristics. Use the size parameter to set the size of the simulated piece. One of the more unique parameters is the shape parameter. This will control the shape of the simulated piece. The low frequency parameter is used to apply a low cutoff filter. The low resonance parameter will apply a boost to the frequencies around the cutoff. Use the self oscillating filter which is a narrow band all pass filter and can be used to give some of that classic synthetic sound to your piece. Use the frequency parameter to set the base frequency of the filter. Use the decay parameter to set the length of the filter. Use the level parameter to adjust how much of the filter you can hear. The middle section provides EQ and filtering for the mid-range frequencies. The frequency parameter controls the base frequency of the filter. The level parameter controls whether to boost or to attenuate the filtered frequencies. As with the low filter, use the resonance parameter to boost the frequencies around the filter's frequency. The EG frequency parameter will control if and in which direction the filter will move after the mallet has struck. Move the parameter left to have the filter roll down after the strike of the mallet. Move the parameter towards the right to slide the filter frequency upwards after the mallet strikes. Use the EG level to control the amount of EG frequency filter change in the mix. Use the decay parameter to determine the length of time till the filter's frequency and EG levels are modulated. We also have one more filter for the high end frequencies. With the high filter, use the frequency parameter to set the frequency affected by the filter. Use the level parameter to either boost or attenuate the filter's frequency. Next, we are going to take a look at the last two sections, output and velocity matrix. The whole parameter determines the sustain of the piece. The low fi option actually reduces the number of bits used to create a dirty sounding output, which may be a desired effect. The pitch parameter controls the overall tuning of the piece. Lastly is the velocity matrix section. This section allows you to map up to four different areas of the instrument 
to the changes in velocities from the notes being played. A simple demonstration is to map the level of how hard the mallet strikes the drum to the velocities. To do this, I click on the desired bank I want to map the velocities to. From the pop-up menu, I will select Mallet Amplitude. Now the difference in velocities from the notes being played will affect the Mallet Amplitude parameter. Use the knob to the right of the mapping slot to determine how much of an influence the velocities have on the assigned parameter. In this case, the mallet amplitude. FL Studio, the fastest way from your brain to your speakers.